Hey guys, we're back. Today, we're coming at you with the first Qi 2 wireless charger that I've purchased. Uh, this is the Anchor 3-in-1 pocket size charger. So because it's Qi 2, that means that it can go up to 15 watts without having to be MagSafe certified from Apple. So Apple collaborated uh, with Qi or the, the wireless power consortium to come up with Qi 2. And they're basically giving their, I don't know what you'd say, their recommendations on how it should be done. Qi 1 came out in 2010 and it's the wireless charging that we've all known. When MagSafe came out, it was just the magnetic ring that really made the product stick to the charger so they were always going to be centered on there and charging perfectly so that's what chi 2 brings it just brings the magnetic ring around there so uh, we've had magsafe compatible products in the past that weren't uh, magsafe certified from apple but apple would only let us charge those uh, products at seven and a half watts now with the Qi 2, it can go up to the full 15 watts. And that also means it's supposed to be cheaper because these companies aren't having to license, uh, uh, pay licensing fees to Apple for the MagSafe certification. So uh, let's get right into this. You know, we can check out the box. Um, it's the anchor made for the watch. So the watch still has that licensing in there. There's there's nothing that's uh, getting around that. Qi 2 certified. It's for the iPhone 15, 14, 13, and 12 series. 12 is when MagSafe first came out. Uh, for the Apple Watches, AirPods, and more. So it's a three-in-one, ultra portable. It comes with a 40-watt charger that we'll get into. Um, but what I'd like to see is not only is it compatible with all those iPhones, it says that it fast charges the watch as well from the Ultras to the Series 7, 8, and 9. So anything below that, it lets you know that it's not gonna fast charge it. Uh, and you can charge the uh, AirPod Pros, first and second generation, and any older AirPods with wireless charging. So uh, let's get right into this one. Let's open it up. There's a couple different options that you can go with. There's the all white or the black. I just chose the white on this one because the shipping was faster on there. So here is a small little charger. It unfolds up. So we actually do have, it looks like on the bottom, some vents for you know heat displacement. Got the watch charger there. Got the Qi 2 logo right there in the middle. And the USB-C input. Looks like it's got a little LED on there. So you open it up. You got another Qi, no Qi 2, just regular Qi. That's for your AirPods. Even you could throw another phone back on there. It says on the box that we get 25 watts total, even though it came with a 40 watt charger. So 15 for the phone, five back here on the Qi 1 plate, and then you can pop up that watch charger, and that gets five watts as well, which five watts is technically fast charging for the Apple Watch. So let's grab this. So this is meant to be like, you know, for a desktop or nightstand. Uh, although it's super portable, you know, you could probably, you know, still just throw this in a bag. I like to get, you know, for my traveling cases uh, or traveling chargers, just little cases to go with them. You see on here, you know, you could probably throw this in here. Um, I had just a, a anchor battery in there, but you could, you know, throw that in there. You got your charger in there. 
uh, and a spot for the cable. So that makes it, you know, really portable, you know, to throw in your bag if you're traveling. And, you know, it helps if this thing is actually, you know, really small. So let's see if they have it on here. P40 watts, if you could see that. And then we have a USB-C to USB-C, but it's kind of cool. Because there's a 90 degree angle on that one. So we can get this charged plugged in there. And it just runs out the back. So let me get this plugged in and we'll come back and see how it works. Okay, so now that we have it all hooked up, uh, this long five foot cord that they give you is plenty of room. So let's throw some stuff on there. We got MagSafe on there. Not seeing this light pop up yet, but let's open it up. Throw some more things on there. We have AirPods Pro 2s. All right, now we're getting this light. So maybe this is only when something's on, on there. But you get a nice blue light right there. You also get the, the noise from the AirPods. And then let's throw an ultra watch on there. That one's getting charged now, if you could see. So we got it all on there, just like it's supposed to be. You can use this with standby mode. I don't know if you caught that, but. Once it's in landscape mode, it just automatically switches to standby so you got that on there so if you want to have this bedside get that going definitely an option but I like this thing it's a hundred and ten dollars which you know for most three-in-ones that were actually mag safe compatible with the full 15 watts most of the items I was using you know my Belkin three-in-one I have a Mophie three-in-one travel charger that I've shown you guys before those were all 150 bucks. Uh, everything is 150 bucks or more. They're even going up now. I see ones from like Ugreen and different brands, even ESR ones that are like 179 dollars now for uh, the MagSafe compatible ones. Um, like I was saying earlier, because it's Qi 2 and they're not paying those licensing fees, the prices should go down. I mean, 110 is still not that cheap. Um, but you know, with, you know, anchor stuff, they, it goes on sale all the time. So, um, you know, we'll see that down. I, I'm sure, you know, under a hundred dollars, probably pretty soon. Um, uh, another one that comes to mind that I reviewed in the past was the anchor cube three in one. A lot of people love that one and that was 150 bucks as well. So this one, I like more than the cube because it's so small and lightweight. I mean, if you had the cube, it was heavy. Like it had some, it definitely had some weight to the bottom of it, uh, which I mean is good when you're, you know, pulling stuff on and off. I guess that's the thing with this one is, you know, if it's on your bed's, bedside, you know, you might take the product with you a little bit. Let's test that out a little more. So, you know, I don't know. Once everything's on there, it's actually not too bad. No, I, I think it's good. So even though it's lightweight, it does have you know, these rubber feet at the bottom. So that does actually play a role in that, of helping it from um, sliding around when you're pulling it off. Um, but uh, this this is handy, man. I, I dig it a lot. So like I said, getting back to it, multiple colors white and black right now. I'm sure they'll come out with a lot more, but they have a ton of Chi2 products coming out. Not only Anchor, but a ton of different brands. I do have a battery bank coming from uh, from Anchor that I'll be getting in the next couple days to review as well. So we'll take a look at that one. Uh, but just a quick unboxing, letting you guys see it. This is the future of wireless charging. So uh, let me know what you think. 
It's Buck Life. Peace.